Hey guys, so hopefully you can see this, but there's a USB aux port in my 2015 Nissan Sentra. I bought this car used and of course it came like this with the USB contacts all busted out of place. Um, I can't use this obviously. I could get a, a, U, a USB port that goes into the cigarette lighter, which I have over here. Very handy. Um, but I just kind of have a thing about like, you know, if I can replace this and make this work somehow um, Even though I don't have a lot of knowledge about cars That would be uh, pretty cool if I could do that myself instead of taking it to a dealership and get something like this fixed for 300 bucks um, So I bought this This is a replacement USB aux port. It looks like it's for the Sentra 2015 model I'm hoping it'll work for my car the only issue is I don't know how to do this kind of thing, and I haven't seen any really comprehensive guides out there for this exact thing. Okay, so I'm going to use my workout tag here and try to pry around it. It's really flush. I already tried doing this earlier. I got a little bit up, and then... Ah, shit. See, I'm kind of ruining the tag. It pried open a little bit with the tag here. You can see it kind of mangled it up too. Um, <laughs> uh, I tried using a credit card, but the credit card was a little too thick. So I tried using a little thinner card, and I can probably use a, a credit card now since I got some space around it. So I'm gonna try and pry it with my fingers. It's really firm and... Uh, the left side is up, but the right side is still in there. I'm gonna try and take that out right now. Looks like I got both parts free. I mean, both sides of the port free. I'm gonna try and wiggle it out here. There is some give. I'm not sure if you can see. Okay, it's got a lot of tension here. So it looks like there's a black part and a white part. I have to try and disconnect these somehow and reconnect it without these parts flying back inside. isn't a whole lot of give here so I'm gonna have to put down the camera for now just want to give you guys another look as to what the part that's connected looks like and what the part that I just bought looks like so it looks like this part I'll need to get out somehow okay let's try it Okay, so I've been wrestling with this for the past five minutes. I cannot figure out how these clasps work at all. They don't even look the same. Does it slide out to the side or what the hell's going on? So I disconnected the white one first. That seemed to be a little easier than the black one. And trying to remove both of them at the same time wasn't working for me. So there's a little button right there at the bottom near the wires, right there. I move that with my thumb. Ah, I'm not sure if I can show you guys. I touched it and I moved it downwards. I have to figure out a way to disconnect this. Um, if you look at the one I'm gonna replace it with, this is where my part ends. So the rest of it must be where it connects, right? So, I'm thinking this is the switch right there that I had to press or pull to get it to relieve uh, the rest of it. So I finally got both of them out. This is the black one I was right about. There was a, a little switch there. Not a switch, but like a thing you push down and pull out at the same time. That thing right there my finger is pointing to. It feels really stiff, like it wasn't going to go anywhere, but after putting some elbow grease, it pushed down, I felt the click, and it pulled right out. So now I have to replace it with the new one. I want to give you guys a closer look at what the old one looked like. Right there, all the contacts are kind of just messed up. Someone just kind of rushed it. This was a rental car at one point, so. So the black one went in pretty easily. It just kind of clicked in, making sure you get the orientation right. Now, I'm going to do the white one after this. Okay, so I got the white one in. It just kind of snaps into place. It's a lot easier to get in than it is to get out. And uh, 
it's so snug there's no room or slack with these wires and you don't want to yank on them too much you don't want to cause damage to the wires because that's a whole other problem to fix all right so since i just pried this out with a credit card i'm just going to put it back in and slide it back into place it just snapped right into place just now okay looks like i did it i'm going to test it out right now All right, looks like we got some action. Now that we know this USB port works, um, I'm going to try out the aux cable. The pictures now, like, I've never won the lottery. I have a pretty good idea. Yeah. Great, looks like the audio works. I'm just plugging it in. I hope. For those of you out there who feel like you can't do this, you can easily get the part like I did and replace it yourself. If not, there is no shame in going to the dealership and getting this done professionally because I could have easily ruined something just now and that would have been um, in for more of a hassle than I want it to be. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.